Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share a brand new method for recovering deleted photos, videos, or any files on iOS devices. We've all had those moments where we accidentally delete something important and it feels like it's gone forever. But don't worry, because I've got a solution for you. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use an amazing app called iRecovery to retrieve those lost files. Whether it's precious photos, important videos, or any other files you've accidentally deleted, this app can help you get them back. As you can see on my iPhone, I've already installed the iRecovery app. Let's go ahead and open it up together. Once you've opened the app, you'll see a big Recover button right on the screen. All you need to do is press this button, and the app will start scanning your device for any deleted files. It might take a few minutes, depending on the size of your device and the amount of data, but trust me, it's worth the wait. Now, if you want to get this app on your device, keep watching the video. This app is a game changer, and I'm sure it will save you a lot of stress and hassle. Let's get started with the tutorial. First, let's start by adjusting a couple of settings to optimize your device for this app. Head into your settings, tap on General, and make sure that Background App Refresh is turned on, either for Wi-Fi or for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. This ensures the app can run smoothly in the background. Next, swing by your battery settings and switch off low power mode. This feature can slow down your device, which we definitely don't want happening. With these two settings tweaked, you're all ready to move on to the next step. What you need to do next is open up your internet browser, in my case it's Safari, and go to the website called rocketmods.com. Rocketmods is a website where you can find many apps and games with amazing features. Once you are on the website, search for iRecovery and click on it. Here you will see some information about the app. To start the download, click on the green button and wait some time for the installation to finish. However, there is one more step that you need to complete before you can finish the installation. This step may vary depending on your device model and operating system and usually involves some pretty simple steps. Don't worry, this step is very easy and quick and there will be a video tutorial on how to complete it. Just follow the instructions and you should be fine. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.